All right, so the Bethel football team has advanced to the quarterfinal round of the NCAA playoffs. Uh, coach, congratulations on a great win on a really good North Central team. Oof. I imagine that was probably a pretty emotional roller coaster game, but when, you're, when you look back on it, what are you going to remember the most? Well, you know, I, the game itself, um, you know, there's been a lot of people, just the excitement's going on right now, but there's a lot of people, oh, you guys are so fun to watch, and it's like, I wish I could watch this, because I'm like, you know what I mean? You're just kind of pins and needles, but it was a great game, exciting game. North Central is a stinking great uh, football team, and so I'm so proud of our guys to, to hang in there. In the first half, um, everything's kind of, I think the statistic, we had a couple things called back on penalties, but the statistics kind of show that we didn't do that much, but need the, both teams were just kind of, you know, banging in there and, and going good. And then I think the thing that I, I think is so huge is that we start the second half and we just did Bethel football right down the, right down the field. And, and, and that's getting first downs. It's not just running. It's, it's just big plays by quarterback, receiver, running back, O-line in the mix of all that. But an eight-minute drive and then scoring it's huge because it, it's a big deal to hold the ball, but but to score at the end of that too, and then they get it, and they're three and out. So they basically ran three offensive plays in the third quarter, and then we went on another six and a half or something. That that is what I'm. I mean that that was a thrilling deal. And then at the end, where you know we kind of sack them on the one, Delich gets a sack, Kilgore's like all over the place like a stinking maniac. It was just so so much fun. Incredibly proud of our guys because staying in the mix because it's uh, a lot of tough stuff happens and it was an unbelievably physical game, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's Festival of Christmas here this <laughs> week at Bethel, an annual tradition, the first weekend of, of December. Um, but we're still playing football. Yeah. So you guys have been going since early August. Um, but what's what's the mindset of the team here? How are they holding up, uh, both physically and, and mentally? Yeah, first of all, um, Festival of Christmas in 2010, we had a, uh, we were playing St. Thomas and it was this, you know, the Elite Eight, you know, going to be four and, and we beat them. But I know at the intermission, I call it halftime, it's an intermission at the music and at the Guthrie, my wife told me. But uh, it's a, uh, the, they announced the, the score that we beat them. And, and so there's a lot of fun stuff that, uh, good memories for us with that. But uh, we feel really blessed to be playing still and still going and, and together and I, I still I marvel at our guys I, I, I still do Tim because we what we have is these guys that go to practice and practice hurts it's it's not and it, now it's freezing and it you're just kind of do but they're happy heart and they're down to business and man here we go and we're so those are the things that are that are amazing about playing now still playing still going uh the camaraderie uh the hope for what's to come and uh you know, big big games. You know, and it's and it's just a lot of fun and and handling all the other things. So I think mentally, uh, you know, you're kind of on adrenaline. But I think physically too. I, you know, our guys weigh less than they. You know, you come into camp and you're rah, fit to go. And it, you know, it's a it's a it's a grind. And if you love football, you you gotta love the grind. And it's not the kind of love that goo goo love. It's kind of like you gotta you gotta care about it and know that it's uh, important to the process. Yeah, so with your receivers group this year, really the whole year they've been great, but especially the last three weeks, they've made some, some huge plays and some great catches. Um, but for a run-first mentality offense, how helpful is it to have a receiver group that's this talented? Because it hasn't just been one guy, it's been a whole group of them. It's been a great group and probably the most unsung, I, th I think people don't realize what a great passing game we have because we don't feel like we're kind of, we, and I even say, you know, downhill run, da, da, da. But uh, our passing game is, is awesome. And Drew Larson is just, he's playing lights out and he's in special teams. He made a play last week that was like a sports center deal. I mean, that was unbelievable on, a, on keeping a ball out of the end zone on a punt. Uh, Kaneke, just terrific. Uh, Johnny Pitlack has been an unsung hero in my mind because he's a guy that he is so talented and he's kind of just, he is never worried about time, worried about all the different things. And it's one of the things that our whole team is, but our receivers might be the best example of it. We have talked about don't miss the game because you're worried about the score or what's happening or your stats. 
and don't you know stay in here and, bam, and those guys have just done that so well. Johnny Carlson makes an unbelievable play and so it's really hard to cover well, well that kid's good well that kid's good right you know what I mean it, it's a little it's a little tough when you've got all these guys and um, AC and we it's it's kind of a a bunch of guys that can that can really play and and they're so critical people don't realize what they do on the perimeter in the running game too so yep. I'm glad you brought that up because those guys have been phenomenal yep. Yeah, they have, for sure. So now going on here, we got Wisconsin Whitewater, um, a team that Bethel's never played before. Um, but what have you seen from them on film, and what kind of style do they do they bring? Whitewater, um, they're huge, they're powerful, um, they're fast, they're confident. You know, I mean, they should be. They they won you know six titles the last nine years, whatever it is. Um, they don't, you know, they haven't they haven't had to play the people that we've had to play in these last few days and so that can work for both ways you know where they haven't been stressed whereas you know we've been in you know stinking battles and so it's it's hard to, it's hard to feel that but they're they're a run they're a run first play action uh strong team on offense they're just terrific on defense i think they stifle people and then at the end of the day even like st norbert last week that was a lot better game than the score indicated but I think that they wear you down, you know, and they're so good defensively that they keep giving their offense, and, and we're a little like that. Their, our defense is so good that they keep giving our offense chances, and then you, you bang, 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 you get enough chances you can, you can dent, you know, and uh, their defense is, is really their key, and then their offense, their quarterback's really good players. I mean, they've, they've got good guys everywhere, and they're big. I hope they don't eat our guys. Yeah. Well. Should be fun though. So yeah, we let's can't go. wait, man. Yeah, let's go yeah. get it again. We're in the mix here. We're going and uh, love the fans. Love it that they're. I mean, the the, the joy around Bethel and the fun is uh, it's really cool, you know. And it's not the uh, it's kind of the good kind of pride stuff. So for sure, we're well, excited. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, man.